Hey everyone, um, Lauren here. So today's um, YouTube tutorial, hair tutorial, is going to be how I do my everyday hair. I basically wear this every day or just like go with my natural curls, which you will see when the video starts. Um, well, the tutorial starts, the video's already started, you are watching. Um, but I use the Instyler, which I will talk about more, but this is my best friend right now. Um, use it for everything hair related. It straightens, it curls, it whatever. Blow dries, kinda. It doesn't actually blow dry, but it like will dry wet hair. Um, I started the video with kind of damp hair, but this is how to achieve the look. Um, straight hair with a little flare at the bottom. So let's get to the video. So this is my natural hair. It's very curly. Normally it looks a little bit better just because, um, I would be knowing that I wasn't going to straighten it, but since I know I'm going to straighten it for you guys, I let it go crazy. It just air dried. Um, it's still a little damp underneath, but for the most part, it's um, pretty dry. Um, so first, right when I got out of the shower, I used this Paul, it's not going to focus, um, Paul Mitchell Original, the conditioner, it's a leave-in moisturizer. Um, I do this like every time I get out of the shower, it just keeps my hair like very smooth. I feel like curly hair, like it's always crazy, like I never know what it's going to look like. Um, but this just like helps keep the frizz out and it just like helps it keep smooth because I get my hair cut not as much as I probably should be, but whatever. Um, then the next thing I do, I go section by section. So first off, normally I have clips, but I can't find them, so we're just going to be working with hair ties um leave that much down that's okay don't mind the up to you but you know um next I use this Tresemme heat tamer I've used this my whole life it smells so good um you just spray this through your hair to make sure it doesn't get damaged when you're doing it because I feel like I straighten my hair a lot now that it's really short um all my friends always like it when it straightens, so I also like it when it straightens, so I do it. Um, I just brushed it next. Um, so the big thing I use is it's already like heating up, but I have the InStyler Wet to Dry um, InStyler thing. Um, I was very skeptical about using it, but I saw a couple other people um, who used it and said it was really good, and honestly, like. I'm in love with this. It's it's very hot right now. It comes with this little um, thing to like rest it on so it doesn't get hot. Um, but it just like, you can see it like twirling and it brushes your hair while it like kind of straightens it. And honestly, like best thing ever. It's the only tool I use. I used to have a straightener, a wand, a curler, a blow dryer. Like my hair is, I mean, it's not actually that damp, but when my hair is like damp, like I'll get out of the shower, like dry off, get changed, and like my hair is still obviously wet and the InStyler works perfectly. Um, highly recommend it. It's the best tool ever. Um, so next thing what I do is I just section off like that. You want to make sure the barrel is going in the right direction so it like actually like brushes with your hair compared to against it. But I just take a little section and I just slowly go through like that. I kind of do a little flip at the end, so I turn it a little bit, but there you go. It's straight with a little flip, just like that. Then I'm going to continue for the rest of the um, section. Um, so now you can see that half this half is um straight and this half is still very curly notice the difference in how long my hair gets um but once you switch to the other side i just continue keep going in the back but it's about like half in the middle like if you split down the middle this half straight this half's curly so once you get to there you still just grab a little piece and this time i have the barrel still going the same way but i face the brush part like towards like away from me and you just kind of, I go out and then like kind of twirl it down to still get a nice little flip a at the bottom. 
Um, I, you can honestly also still go straight through the hair, but I like having like a little, um, kind of texture to my hair, just a little something, something, so I just like give it the little flip, um, but then you just continue doing the rest of the hair. Um, now that the whole bottom section is done, yeah, um, just like, because I don't go that close to the root in the back, I just will make it so the barrel is turning that way, so it's like still brushing my hair, and I'll just take kind of the top section in the, in the back of my head, just because I can't really see back there, and just like kind of run it through just one more time brushing it to make sure like it's all straight and even back there. Also, if you're worried about these front parts, don't worry till the end just so you can see the final result. But the whole bottom layer is straight now. Um, so once you do that, well, once I do that, um, where's my other hair tie? There it is. Um, I'll just, just because I feel like I have a lot of hair. Also, sorry I keep looking at myself because like I'm doing the hair tutorial, so. Um, but... Since I have a lot of hair, I kind of don't want to get it confused because I want to make sure every part's straight. So I will just section this off into a little pony, a loose pony so it doesn't crease in the back. Take down um, the massive bun for my hair. I normally flip my head upside down. Take, oh my god, look at what I look like. Take a little section from the back again. Grab the rest of this hair, um, again, fancy updo. Okay, so I got all of it done. You might want to take my little unicorn pony out. Um, my hair's actually, I didn't even brush it, just let it go natural. Okay, but as you can see, I am at literally, that was not good. Um, I'm at like the front, like the part that's like around my face and obviously this is the most important. Um, so I just like have it down again, I spray it. You know, heat protection is important. Um, I normally do two sections on the side. My part's like here, so there's literally barely anything on that side. Um, but like, I really make sure that it kind of like frames my face so I have the barrel going and kind of pull it away. And once it's done, it creates kind of like a lull. One more curl. That was a kind of damp piece to do. Here's another better plug in the way. Um, but basically like that. See what kind of like is a little more framing of the face? I literally look bald. I have my whole ponytail in the back. But on this side, again, you just kind of do like lower section. This it's easier on this side because like you can have the barrel like this and just turn it. Um, but again, just like a little more. Oh, I did not spray this side. I can feel that. Since I do my like hair a lot, I just like having heat protected on it because I want my hair to be healthy and nice and putting all the heat on it. I used to never uh, do heat on my hair, but once I got it cut, it's just like the weight, since it's not um, long anymore, there wasn't any weight, so that was, okay. We're gonna redo that one. Um, lost my train of thought, but the weight of my hair, like since it wasn't long anymore, it wasn't pulling it down, so it kinda does get like a little crazy, crazy curly. Not hate hating on my curls, I love my curls, but sometimes they're just a little unmanageable and I just think with short hair, it does look cuter when it's um, straightened. I don't know, just on me too. Um, 
see we're going away from the face, giving a little, um, a little framing, a little more than often, I guess. Um, let's brush it out. Take out the rest of the pony. Just make sure you don't have any, um, pieces that you want to kind of redo. This looks a little, a little funky. Um, see, just a quick run through helps. Um, but that's about it. Um, some people do put hairspray in, um, their hair just to keep it, like, the hold better. My hair holds, uh, whatever I do to it, like, really well. It just is pliable hair. I don't know the word for that. Um, but you just, if you want to, if I know that I'm going somewhere where it's, like, very humid or, um, basically just humid, um, I'll just, like spray some hairspray on my hands and just kind of like brush it through like that um but other than that i just this is about it this is how i do my hair basically every day you can tell that it's um kind of straight but a little like something on the bottom that's what i like um but there you go hope you enjoyed um like and subscribe the video below follow me on instagram if you want to um see what i do every day in my life um and see you next video. Bye.